Yes, Rina, ma'am, please go ahead. Yes, ma'am, yeah, uh, yeah, please yeah. go ahead. Honorable dignitaries, learned delegates, respected teachers, and dear students, a very good afternoon and a very warm welcome to one and all. We are wishing you all a good health and healthy environment in this pandemic. What happened? Uh, her connectivity is not proper, sir. Sir, okay now. फिर से स्टार्ट करना पड़ेगा करिए करिए एम आई ऑडिबल सर यस यस सर यस यस या वेरी सॉरी फॉर द इंटरप्शन ऑनरेबल डिग्नेटरीज लर्न डेलीगेट्स रिस्पेक्टेड टीचर्स एंड योर स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एंड अ वेरी वार्म वेलकम टू वन एंड ऑल वी आर विशिंग यू ऑल अ गुड हेल्थ एंड हेल्दी एनवायरमेंट इन दिस पेंडेमिक सिचुएशन आई डॉक्टर रीना मेश्रा ऑन द बिहाफ Again, there is interruption. Sir, there is a problem with her connectivity. Uh, I think Gandhare sir, can you please move the event ahead, or you can please call uh, Navin sir for introductory speech. No, no, no. I am there. पता नहीं sir क्यों connectivity जा रही है. I, Dr. Rina Meshram, on behalf of Postgraduate Department of Chemistry and IQSC, Nabira Mahavidyalaya ka toll, welcome you all in ten days national level. lecture series in memory of late shri bhikulal nabiraji respected participants before moving ahead it's a humble request to one and all to please mute your audio and turn off your video we are very fortunate to have 12 proficient people with us who will share their expertise on different topics on 12 different days now we start the inaugural session let me before starting the inaugural session let me pay my homage to honorable late shri bhikulal nabiraj ji founder of nabira mahavidyalaya katol and to pay due to that great soul on his 132nd birth anniversary pg department of chemistry and iqsc nabira mahavidyalaya organized this 10 days lecture series <clears throat> Before moving ahead, I want to express our gratitude towards our chief donor, Late Shri Bikulal Jain Nabira, in few words. That is, what you leave behind is not what is engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others. I also acknowledge the patronage of Honorable Dr. Raju Ji Deshmukh Sir, President Shikshan Prasarak Mandal Katol. and all honorable management members of shikshan prasarak mandal katol i am immensely delighted to welcome all eminent guest speakers of this 10 days lecture series welcome to all further i extend sincere welcome to enthusiastic and dynamic personality of our institute dr sunil kumar navin principal nabira mahavidyalaya katol and convener of this lecture series i also welcome Dr. Nilesh Gandhare, convener of this lecture series, and assistant professor Nabira Mahavidyalaya Katol. <clears throat> I am immensely delighted to welcome Dr. Vikas Barsagade, convener of this lecture series, and head and assistant professor, Department of Zoology, Nabira Mahavidyalaya Katol. Also, I am very pleased to welcome Dr. A. D. Borkar Sir, head and professor, Department of Chemistry. Nabira Mahavidyalaya Katol Also I am very glad to welcome all the committee members of this 10 day lecture series who put all their efforts to make these 10 days very innovative very informative a warm welcome to all With these words friends I welcome all the distinguished guests of the inaugural and technical sessions I must acknowledge all participants for their overwhelming response i welcome all academicians and researchers who have registered for this lecture series a very warm welcome to one and all with the uh, <clears throat> ending of
Well, Dr. Adil. Yes, uh, Gandhari sir, please uh, move the session ahead. Yes, to move ahead, I request Dr. Vikas Barsagadek, convener of this lecture series, for his welcome address. Over to you, sir. Dr. Barsagadek, sir. Sir, you need to unmute yourself first. Hello. Yes, sir. Good afternoon to all of you. On behalf of organizing committee, I welcome all the resource person, academicians, and participants for this 10 days national level lecture series in memory of late Sri Bhikulalji Nabira, organized by PG Department of Chemistry and IPC Nabira Mahadalai Katul. As you all are aware, this series of lecture in chemistry and related fields is accompanied by an invited guest in memory of late Sri Bhikulalji Nabira. It's my duty to aware you all about this legendary soul, Sri Bhikulalji Nabira, who has donated the entire land of the institution in 1960. With the help of his generous donation and vision, Nabira Mahavidalai Katol provides facility of quality higher education to students of Katol and adjoining areas. It has a beautiful and spacious campus in Katol. It aims at giving its students quality education at their doorsteps. As you know, COVID pandemic has appended educational life around the world. Still, Nabira Mahavidalaya offering activities to help and keep the students' education on track while they are staying at home. Similarly, this lecture series allows the department to present the lectures of distinguished scientists, academicians who have made inventive contribution to chemistry and related fields. I offer a warm welcome to our Honorable Dr. Raju Deshmukh, President, Sikshan Prasarak Mandal Katol, Chief Patron of this 10 days national level lecture series, and Honorable all members of the Sikshan Prasarak Mandal Katol. I welcome President of today's inaugural session, Honorable Principal of our college, Dr. S. K. Navin, sir, Head of the Department of Chemistry, Professor A.D. Borkar, sir, and dear participants from the national and international platform. On behalf of organizing committee, I welcome you all for valuable time and keen interest to conduct such a good initiative. I also extend a warm welcome to all distinguished speakers for accepting our request and spare their time to interact with the students through this lecture series. The main objective of organizing this 10 days lecture series is to create an opportunity to young minds to interact with this expert of different fields, to make students aware about the competitive world and to provide expert tricks to crack the national level examinations, create national forum for the students and researchers to know and discuss the current research in the field of the science and how to write a good scientific documents also added for the academicians and researchers Therefore, the national level lecture series will be definitely beneficial to the participants in their field. For this 10 days national level lecture series, around 1,500 participants have registered from 136 different universities of India, along with two international universities from Philippines and Nigeria. We really feel very happy for this overwhelming response of the participant across all the national and international institutions with academicians, researchers, pharmaceutical scientists, chemical analysts, UG and PG students. So I welcome you all on this occasion. We have an opportunity to be benefited by the talk of 12 different experts who has already guided and has hands-on scientific analysis, writings, and related fields. I hope next 10 days will be surely very informative for all to gain current knowledge from these experts. I offer a warm welcome to these all the experts. At last, again, as a convener of this 10 days national level lecture series, I welcome all the resource persons, speakers, academicians, and participants. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Okay, ma'am. Now you will uh, continue, sir. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Dr. Barsagare, sir for giving us the insight of objective of this program. Now, I request to our Dr. Sunil Kumar Navin, sir, Principal Nabira Mahadere Kato, to deliver his introductory remarks. Over to you, sir. Thank 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 you,
थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर गंधारे हेड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट टीचिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री डॉक्टर बारसागरे कोऑर्डिनेटर आईपीएसी ऑफ नवीरा महाविद्यालय काटोल डॉक्टर बोरकर हेड यूजी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री डिग्नेटरी ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर राजू देशमुख अवर सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द सोसाइटी बंसीलाल जी नबीरा वाइस प्रेसिडेंट श्री निरंजन जी राउत ज्वाइंट सेक्रेटरी श्री योगेश जी पांडे ट्रेजर श्री चांडक साहब ऑनरेबल मेंबर श्री पुरुषोत्तम जी मानकर ऑल पार्टिसिपेटिंग स्टूडेंट्स and faculty members the compeer dr dina mishra faculty in charge science wing dr ab sharma all faculty members of the college dear friends first i really congratulate dr gandhare and dr barsagare the conveners who have come together to organize 10 days national level lecture series in the memory of late sri bhikulal ji nadira i feel proud and i feel elated that uh, on 10 different topics participating students and faculty members will get uh, good understanding of the various uh, subjects and today is uh, preparation of net set gate examination in chemical science i also feel proud privilege to welcome and uh, i would like to thank Mr Nilesh S Padole assistant professor Vinayak Science College Nandgaon Amravati who has obliged us accepting our invitation to speak on the topic well i have uh, words of uh, high commendation for the organizing team that uh, the team had organized informative sessions which will go a long way to give insightful understanding of various topics my good wishes are there from my side and on behalf of the college i extend a warm warm welcome to all of you thank you thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much sir uh, ladies and gentlemen here we are ending inaugural function of 10 days national level lecture series in memory of late sri dikulal ji nabira now we will we will move toward the technical session uh, now i request mr nile jadhav sir assistant professor department of chemistry navira mahavidyalay kato to introduce our speaker of the day over to you sir am i jadhav sir ha uh, uh, okay sir uh, thank you sir uh, am i audible yes you are audible sir okay good afternoon one and all it is my great pleasure to introduce mr nilesh padole sir our speaker for the today's session of 10 days national level lecture series he is a head and assistant professor department of chemistry vinayak vidyan mahavidyalay nandgaon khandeshwar amravati maharashtra he is a specialized in the area of organic chemistry and has a many years of teaching experience he has qualified 
CSIR NET December 2011 with All India Rank 33 and SET examination in 2015. He had also worked in ONGC from 2011 to 2019. He has a many national and international research publication, two books to his credit, and as an editor for BSc Chemistry book. He has delivered a many invited talks and presented his works in national and international journal. He has a deep understanding of CSIR NET SET GET examination. The participant, please join me in welcoming Mr. Padole sir, who is going to talk to us about NET SET GET examination in chemical science. Please, sir, Mr. Padole sir. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dado sir, for such a lovely introduction. Uh, first of all, I congratulate PG Department of Chemistry, Navira Mahavidyalay, and IQSC for organizing this uh, uh, ten days national level lecture series on uh, various topics. And uh, respected Dr. S. K. Navin sir, principal, uh, Dr. A. D. Borkar sir, head Department of Chemistry. Dr. Nilesh V. Gandhare sir, uh, PG coordinator. Dr. Vikas Ji Bhar Sakade sir, IQSC coordinator, and all beloved organizing committee member. Thank you very much for your invitation and uh, provide me a platform to interact with the uh, student research scholar from all parts of the country, even from the out of country also. So, Jado sir, uh, can I start with my presentation? Yeah. Yes, sir. You can, can start. start. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I have shared my screen. Is it uh, visible? Visible, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, uh, dear participants from all over the parts of India, I welcome you all on this national event and. Uh, uh basically uh, as of now ki chemical science is one of the hard drinking subject uh uh zado sir english and hindi combination will be better or uh, uh, what okay uh, pure sir, english uh, you can start in uh, pure english or uh, mix also english hindi okay okay uh, english english Thank Okay. So, as far as this uh, chemical science is concerned, the the next set data preparation. But basically, talking in general, chemical science has the vast application or the vast opportunities in the field. Maybe of academic, that may be non-academic, that may be in the government sector, private sector, PSUs. Semi government, all are there. But as our today's topic is the net set and great gate preparation, so this is our road. Let me clear. Ki, I have planned the things in a very precise way so that you are getting step by step knowledge. I'm I never try to jump from one place to another place. I will keep the things confined so that ki, I will provide you a step-by-step -step information about the net and gate. Don't worry. This is the only the guidance, or this is only the road that I will show you. Because today I am not going to cover any topic, subject, topic, anything. Gandhare, sir. Just a minute. I Hello. think there is some. Okay, I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, 
uh, dear participant as we know that we are in the still in the situation of pandemic so everybody is uh, well aware about the online mode. so the Adil sir, network problem hai kya? Network problem hai sir ki taraf se. I request to all participants that be with us. Sir will join very soon. Please. Okay, am I audible, sir? <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. You are audible. Sorry for this uh, connection connected it out. I don't know, but now I change my network. So let's try again. So, <clears throat> huh, uh, just a minute. So, huh? Uh, so I'm not going to uh, teach you any topic or the subject. I will provide you throughout my session about the net, set, and get. What about the net set examination scheme plus get? What are the opportunities after qualification of examination? Means what are the opportunities that are waiting for you once you qualified this examination? What about the syllabus portion? What about the references for the preparation? because we need a solid proof for the preparation and the books are there. Books will only provide you perfect information for a study. Overviews toward the gate examination. Now, just as uh, said that yeah, I have defined this or I have separate this topic in two half. One half is of net and set and second is half of gate examination. Okay. So basically all these examination has their own level, difficulty level. Instead of studying in a random way, you require a proper way to approach because approach is more important than your study because everybody is having a ten nature to study. But always the approach is good when you are, your approach is planned. You are going in a proper way. Okay, so today's discussion, obviously, it is of date, set, and get guidance or the how to prepare for this uh, uh, examination. So first of all, we will proceed with the net and set half. In latter half, I will proceed for the gate half. Okay, so now, Now, as far as the net concern, it is stand for national eligibility test. Okay, I think everybody is well aware about the uh, uh, it is the full form of the net, where 
this national eligibility test it is a computer based test means it is specially a online test pattern is mcq called as a multiple choice questions duration of examination is 180 minutes or 3 hours total marks is 200 marks negative marking is there that is 25% subject code this is 70 701 minimum required that is the mobile number and the valid email id because nowadays maximum processes they are online and on that process they will send you a otp that is one time password so your mail and your mobile number should be okay should be with with you during the net application you need to take care of one thing ki nowadays either you can apply for the jrf that is junior research fellowship or you can apply for the els that is the lecturership called as a assistant professor as per the jrf concern normally jrf has a higher cut off than the els don't worry we have detailed discussion on this topic but if you are a fresher and going to appear for the first time in the examination then you need to take care of this you have to apply for the either jrf or els now depending upon your preparation and depending upon your mental setup you need to choice if you have doubt you can contact with your respective teacher for the correct apply either jrf or els conducting agency is a nta called as a national testing agency and nowadays this one name in a market in discussion nta okay total sections are three part a part b and part c part a part b and part c don't worry we have in detail discussion on this portion you can made a payment through the net banking credit card debit card yeah, that is upi and now this these are the familiar rules when <clears throat> now because of this pandemic the schedule for the net is disturbed okay but uh, as far as the old schedule or before this pandemic the net was a semester pattern mean twice in year okay so twice in year means one attempt will be in june and second will be in december <clears throat> but because of this pandemic the cycle got disturbed but don't worry this will these things will be going in a better way now next now this is the examination skip ki as i stated that there are three parts part a part b and part c every part has a different number of questions every part has a different weightage every part has a different syllabus okay be careful ki do it is a net paper on the basis of your subject like a chemistry but it is divided into three portion part a part b and part c now this part a has total 20 questions this one where you need to solve any 15 questions where each question carries two marks means total marking is 30 marks again i am going to repeat total question 20 out of 20 you need to solve any 15 where each question carries two marks means 15 multiplied by 2 is 30 
सर सर बात कीजिए ना गेस्ट से सर आ गए आ गए सर आगे once again sorry for this internet connectivity down i don't know but this happened today because we are running online classes i don't get such a disturbances okay jado sir am i audible once again uh, yes sir you are audible yes sir you are audible sir go ahead sir thank you be there sir uh, for response at least Yes, sir. Sure, sir. As it is online, <laughs> thank you, sir. No, no okay. problem. Thank you. Okay, so we were at part. So again, total number of questions are forty. But don't worry, you need to solve only thirty-five questions, and each question carries two marks, so it is seventy marks. Okay, means seventy plus thirty is total hundred marks. Where the portion of these. Uh, b that is the part b basically it is based upon your subject syllabus now as we are the student of chemical science or the topic allotted to me the chemical science so we are considering this ki we are interested in the chemistry okay so as far as this part a and part b followed by parts that is total question is 16 Out of that sixty question, you need to solve any twenty-five question. Where now there is a difference in the marking. Now each question carries four marks. Twenty-five multiplied by four is hundred. Now it is hundred plus seventy plus thirty. Where again the syllabus is basically on your chosen topic or the chosen subject that is the chemistry. But as far as the marking is concerned, portion B and portion C. Compare to portion B or part B, part C is quite detailed, based upon the analysis, based upon the application of your subject. Required some deep knowledge, required some depth in knowledge. Okay, so this is the examination theme uh, scheme as per the NET, that is National Eligibility Test Concern, part A, part B, and part C. Make sure there is no part wise passing. it is not necessary or mandatory to have a minimum mark for the uh, passing the part a part b and part c it is the cumulative ki whatever the mark that you will get in the overall section part a part b and part c they will get a summary they will get sum okay so it is not necessary ki aapko uh, you have to attempt all question from the part a okay it is your decision it is your preparation that will decide okay because minimum question has given to attempt that is 15 but it is necessary to solve all the question the second rule that is the hidden rule suppose you attempt all 20 questions from part a All twenty questions from part A, from one to twenty, the requirement is only fifteen. Okay, so net for that evaluation of the first fifteen will be evaluated. Where next five question will never be evaluated. It make no difference whether the all fifty question have all correct option or incorrect option. In that case, it may happen. If some question from your first to fifteen get wrong, and some question from your fifteen to twenty are correct, but net CSR only evaluate the first fifteen. But the condition is if you solve all twenty questions. But if you solve dot fifteen questions, then there is no serial number. They will evaluate only fifteen question, irrespective of the number, whether the question is a first fifteen or twenty. Okay, same rule, same same rule for the part C. That's why the approach is more important than the study toward the question. Okay, then so what will happen? You are going to attempt all the question. It will affect your score. Plus, along with that, Nate has a negative mark. Okay, someone has dropped a message in the chat box that Nate is not having a negative marking. No, Nate has a negative mark. 
okay so this is the examination scheme along with the part a part b and part c with their marking also with their need to solve okay and don't worry we have a separate discussion on the portion of syllabus i have special slides which topic should be clear which topic should be prepared okay so next now in general i am uh, this slide is general uh, am i audible sir jadav uh, sir because yeah, someone yeah, has sir. a drop message in the chat box that uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah you are audible sir. let me know sir if there is a uh, okay sir thank you now <laughs> Uh, look, friends, dear participant, this slide will provide you a general idea about if you crack the NET examination with a JRF rank, that is Junior Research Fellowship. Okay, ki once you become a NET JRF in a chemical science, then what are the doors? What are the chances? What are the opportunities that are waiting for? You? And of course, hundred and one percent, the peoples are looking for this. JRF. Okay, why it is so? Because once you are net JRF, you are eligible to do a research work in the twenty three IITs. Seven IITs are old IITs like Bombay, Delhi, Madras. Uh, then I think the uh, Karakpur, Roorkee. Okay, and after two thousand four, government has increased. More interest or shown more interest toward the IITs. There are a lot of CSIR lab throughout the India. Okay, it, the list of the CSIR lab has given on a CSIR website. Go through it. ISER, that is Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. Okay, nowadays there are seven ISER lab throughout the India. NCL, that is everybody. I think most of the people know this National Chemical Labor at the Pune. IISC, that is Indian Institute of Science. Okay, means if you want or if you wish to work on a top rank organizations, IITs, CSIR, ISER, NCL, IISC, even VNIT, Vishwasarya National Institute for Technology. Okay, then. This net GRF is the golden chance. If you have it, you can grab it. Okay, and don't worry. Don't worry. Always in a market there is a competition, and you need to face the competition. Nothing is come easier. Okay, so that's why keep your aim, keep your target in front of your eyes, and make the necessary efforts. That's the net GRF. Okay. So this is the general idea. Don't worry, we have a separate discussion. I am just providing a guideline. What are the doors that are waiting for you once become what net JR? Okay. Next. Now, what is the eligibility? Okay, because uh, most of the time student is not well known or is not aware about the eligibility of uh, examinations. Okay, and because of that wrong interpretation. Your form may get rejected. Okay, so HRD group that is the Human Resource Development Group of Consecutive that is the research fellows working in. नीलेष सर अनम्यूट करिए प्लीज नीलेष सर प्लीज अनम्यूट करिए बडोले सर अनम्यूट कीजिए
ओके सर जाधव सर एम ऑडिबल या या यू आर ऑडिबल नाउ हाँ सो वी वेर एट दिस नेट जे आर एफ सो कि बिकॉज ऑफ द इनकम्प्लीट नॉलेज और बिकॉज ऑफ द लैक ऑफ अवेरनेस इट मे हैपन्स यू विल अप्लाय इन रॉन्ग वे एंड दैट विल रिजल्ट इन टू द रिजेक्शन ऑफ सो वॉट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग कि दिस ऑर्गनाइजेशन और दिस इंस्टीट्यूट और दिस लेबोरेटरी दे आर रनिंग द शो रनिंग द शो मीन्स वॉट दे आर रनिंग द रिसर्च एंड फॉर दिस शो इन द मैन पावर फॉर दिस शो दे इन द एक्टर और एक्ट्रेस okay and for that purpose this is the door where you can enter into the iits as i have mentioned you can enter into the various csir labs or that is a icer ncl iis okay so what is the minimum uh, that is the uh, <coughs> eligibility is the msc means your post graduation subject with 55 aggregate marks or open and obc candidate because always the examination for the reservation category or reservation rules okay and those for the sc st and pwd minimum 50% marks in the the chemistry to get a net cr csir jrf you must need to qualify this csir ugc net jrf rank okay because as i have already mentioned the net jrf has a different cut off and normal net ls has a different cut off if you wish to get the jrf rank you should be in your top rank okay don't worry i will clear in later slides minimum age limit for the open category is 28 years and 31 years for obc with non creamy layer you should have that valid document with you 33 years for sc st physically challenged person and female applicant okay now what about the validity period if suppose you qualified the net jrf okay so it will be valid for next two years from the date of the result declaration two years validity make sure within that two year make count that jrf skip or that jrf otherwise it will get lapse okay what about the stipend it is 31000 per month for first two years okay and suppose you are get register for the phd work it will extend for a next years where it will be 35000 per month and this is called the sir senior research first is the jr junior research fellow second is the senior research fellow yes r f okay difference is that is a one money it is 31000 to 35000 the tenure is maximum 5 years if register for the phd if you register for the phd it will extend for next 3 years 31000 to 35000 okay so dear participant anyone from you are you getting my voice and are you getting my this sites with proper information or not anyone can reply because this is don't like a uh, one way traffic Yes. Koi bhi unmute sir, karke. Sir, it is audible to us. It is audible to us, sir. Okay. Uh, to the panel member, it is audible, but we don't know what about the students and the participants. Okay, sir. They cannot unmute uh, their self, madam, as it is a paid version of Zoom, I think. But it's okay, madam. Just I want to make sure the traffic. Otherwise, it will be a one-way traffic. So it's okay. next uh, uh madam uh, uh, can you take care of that chat box also because if someone is uh, placing some yes sir yes sir definitely oh. definitely definitely okay i will take care after the session thank you next <clears throat> okay now next is the word that is the spm 
and this SPM is, it is nothing but the, it is the Shama Prasad question. Basically, the minimum criteria or the eligibility is again for the CSR UGC net, JRF net. Okay. This fellowship was started by CSI to commemorate the birth centenary of Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee, who was the first vice president of the CSI. Okay. Now, what is the eligibility and how it is differ from the net JRF, normal JRF? It is the toppers of UGC CSI net JRF awardees, top rank. The observe for the stipend, it is 36,000 per month plus HI for first two years. Okay. And later on, it is 42,000 per month. See, I mean, again, the tenure is of five years. Okay. Selection process is interview method because you have already cracked the JRF. Okay, the CSIR will call for the SL and you need to apply through the proper channel. Okay. Total post for the chemical science is 10, but the ratio for the interview is 1 to 3. Okay. 1 to 3 means was CSIR will invite 30 students for the interview. Out of that 30, only 10 will be selected for the SP. Okay. And this is the normal process. CSIR will ask or CSIR will call for the process. Those who qualified the net with a JRF rank, they need to attention. They need to give the attention toward the process. Fill the form, go for the interview. If you shortly stay, you will be allotted with the ESPM, that is Shama Prasad Mukherjee Fellowship. In short, it is called the SP. Okay. For this, you need to develop the one habit. Visit to the CSIR site. Once you are on your phone, once you are on your PC, once you are on your laptop, search for the csir.hrdg.ac.e or csir.nta, National Testing Agency. You are... Now, basically, this is for the Maharashtra government or Maharashtra state. Okay, I know the there are a lot of participants from across the country, uh, but uh, this is every state has this body or this uh, commission that is state commission. So, this is Maharashtra Public Service Commission where this MPS MPSC also demand for the net candidate. Public said, okay, where the minimum eligibility to face the examination for MPC is net. If you are net, then you can apply for the post of assistant proposal professor, and this is the gazetted post. Okay, but the minimum requirement is the net or set. Okay, this is the return test followed by. In Institute of Forensic Science, the Institute of Science, Mumbai, GVISH, these are some government colleges where if you wish to enter into this organization, you should go through the MPSC with a proper qualification. Okay. This is for Maharashtra. Uh, sir, someone has unmute her mic. Okay. okay. Uh, Rina madam, uh, you mute your ah, Sorry, 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 oh. sorry. Yeah. Okay, madam. It's okay. okay. Now, what about the other? If you apply for the plain net without JRF option, I am again going to repeat the same key. Once you try to fill up the net form, be careful by choice or having selecting JRF and LS. These are two different aspects because they have different cutoff also. Okay. Now, if you are availing the option of net LS, then what are the opportunities? Number one, first, the candidate who, have a, who has a JRF can eligible for the assistant professor. 
okay means he can choose a research work or can go for the lectureship or the assistant professor but the candidate who has ls can eligible for assistant professor or lectureship only not eligible for any fellowship from the csr this is the clear cut instruction that's why choice or selecting option in your initial stage of application is more important and should be more select okay so depending upon your msc qualification and if you are net ls okay you can be eligible for the the their pg graduation for their for that student or for uh, this appear student we generally call them as a appear student they need to submit one application called as a where subject to the condition if you are not able to complete your hc your net zero or ls your result will not be accepted means your pg score should be as per the norms some students are there who qualify the examination in their msc period that is appear so for that student they need to submit one result oriented application duly signed by the concerned head department okay and the condition is that net csir will allow you to go for the examination but unless if you not able to complete your post graduation the result will not be accepted no fellowship no lectureship okay so this is the uh, what you call it is the academic door where you can enter into the teaching field for the assistant professor or the lectureship okay next now what about the sec or in al alternative language this sec yes sir yes. i am going to explain this sec examination as far as the maharashtra and goa concerned okay so again state is basically comprises of two paper paper 1 paper 2 similar to the net net has a three paper net has a three paper set has a two paper but net paper first that is uh, part 1 part a is also what that is reasoning ability research and to similar to that your paper first is also same total number of question 50 need to solve any 50 means all these questions are compulsory each question carries two marks means total marking is 100 marks Okay, sir. Am I audible? Once again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are okay. audible. Okay. So, again, similar to the net part A. This is paper one, which is based upon the reasoning ability, comprehension, divergent thinking, and general awareness. The question like on a blood relation, coding, decoding, or some mathematics, or some reasoning based. Okay. So the general part. it doesn't have to do with the your subject but as per the set concern all questions are compulsory you need to solve all question each question carries two marks means 2 into 50 is 100 marks this is 100 marks okay your paper 2 paper 2 has 100 question again need to solve all 100 questions and each question carries the two mark means it is total 200 plus 100 is 300 now the syllabus for the paper 2 is a subject syllabus you need to prepare a subject for the paper okay total marking is 300 marks and for set there is no negative mark but 
use that heat and trial method. That is dangerous. Okay. Candidate who qualified state examination will be eligible to do lecturership in the state of Maharashtra and Goa. That I have already mentioned. Okay, I am going to explain the this combination for Maharashtra and Goa, where there is no such a fellowship for the state. The one thing you can go for the lecturership. Now, actually, I have explained the examination scheme in little uh, slide, but, but that is not my main aspect because you are an intelligent student, you are an intelligent participant, you can manage, this, manage these things to your own best. How to process, how to Okay. No network major problem has. Okay. So now my question is simple. Uh, sorry. Uh, what I am uh, what I am explaining? Ki whatever the examination scheme that I have explained till time, that is not my interest. How? Because you are a smart student. You can manage this all these things. The how to apply, here to apply. Okay. What document? Sign, okay, then photograph, scan, you can manage all these things because you're a smart people. What is my portion of interest? From here on, this is my portion of interest. Okay, Ki basically we have some question in our mind and that question may be how to prepare for the examination. Okay, means ki whether you are going for the what uh, any examination, we always have some doubts. We always have some that is called as a confusion. Okay, so to make your uh, make your mind very much perfect in your thinking, the first question is how to prepare for the examination. And you can see the image also. See the eye movement. He or she looks like a surprised. And surprise stand for what? No knowledge. Okay. If you have to ask someone, you don't know the fact. Okay. Now, the second point is coming. How many papers do we have at ABC? Everybody is well known. As far as the uh, papers are concerned, we have at least 1,500,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry. To proceed correlation, you need to set the perfect combination. Otherwise, going in a complicated state. If you are unable to assess the condition. No, my organic chemistry is okay. So my first priority goes to the organic chemistry. Second, no, I think my inorganic chemistry is okay. I can, I can repair. So why not? I, I will choose this uh, chemistry plus inorganic chemistry supported by a spectroscope. No, I am not uh, comfortable with the organic chemistry. So I will go for inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry plus supported by spectroscopy. No, I am not happy with the inorganic chemistry. I am happy with the organic chemistry, physical chemistry plus spectroscopy. I will never suggest as I am in the field of coaching from last 2010. Okay, I will never suggest to go for the organic, inorganic, physical, liana, spectroscopy, natural product. No, never. That is the waste of time, waste of talent, and it is the waste of money also. You will get clear cut idea once I will move in forward. Okay, why this combination matters? Because though I have covered this topic on one slide, but this is not that much easy to handle and cover the topic. Okay, plus some topics from the natural product. Okay, so those students who have passed the MSc or they are in the MSc part two semester third, they might heard this word natural product. Okay, so this is your first, this is your first target to select your paper at the MSc, during the MSc, which, which subject you are like, or which subject you have interest, plus which subject you can manage, which subject you can get a good result, better result. I'm talking about the concept. I'm talking about the understanding of the subject. So this is your first day before going for the preparation. As far as my concern, I have my MSc in organic synthesis, my best combination that I have selected for the net, set and get was organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, spectroscopy supported by natural group. Because I'm not comfortable with the physical chemistry. So that's why I left. Okay, it doesn't affect my overall progress in my preparation. Okay. So next. Now, key, which are those hot topics that we have to take care of? Which are those topics that are consistently enter or consistently interfering in the examination? That is the second step. Don't go for the study of books. Sir, that I have selected one book of organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, and I am going to read this book for next six months. No, at least for the competitive examination, don't do that. First, you need to select the topic, whatever the topic it be, whatever I am saying, either organic, inorganic, physical, natural product, or spectroscopy. They read that topic at least from four to five different references. Same topic, for example, carbocation. I must say, for example, carbocation. Don't rely on a single author, single book. You need to cross check all the information from all possible authors or possible references that you have with us in your personal library or in a college library. So, this is the second most important step to select the chemistry topic and don't worry. Your MSc budget, your MSc project already have these topics. Even I can say our Santa Gadge Baba Amrothi University and HGPA has 75% relation with the net and set syllabus. 75% portion, they are already in our syllabus. But student even don't know this is our syllabus for the net, set and get us. They are only targeting their MSc. No, I have to talk to the university. But that is not our target. Nobody will ask you for the MSc books except eligibility. And if you wish to crack the competitive examination, then go for the syllabus first. You suppose if you know this aromaticity is also, I uh, suppose I 
uh, used to study in a net and set preparation also then look that topic in that way during your msc ki jab aap msc kar rahe ho then be on that a topic your mind will provide you a different commands if you are targeted msc only to top in the university your mind will provide you a different command just read it write it you will get pass you will get top but if you wish to do in a competitive aspect your mind will provide you a different views for the same topic no i am not satisfied with this matter i need to project other reference because i have to take care of this because it is in the net because it is in the set because it is in the get so this view is most important then your uh, second second part need to study yes you don't have option but the selection of topics is most important those the student who are in a first year they have to just check which topic they have already studied and those who are in msc part 2 semester 3 they have to check which topic they have already studied in their msc life okay for example aromatics everybody who is in a chemistry learn this topic stereochemistry one of the beautiful topics okay and nowadays most of the time net and set they will ask for the stereochemical approach they will ask or ask for the question based upon the topics reaction the structure and reactivity ki how the reaction proceed how the bond form how the bond break how nucleophile attack how electrophile attack where it should attack why it should attack these are the question will be answered by the reaction chemist nucleophile substitution reaction sn1 sn2 sn i mechanism okay you know how this work internal nucleophilic substitution mechanism elimination reactions e1 e2 e1 cb hard acid hard base interaction that is sharp principle you might heard this elimination reaction agar elimination reaction padna hai if you wish to prepare this topic prepare it from the stuart warren stuart warren one of the standard reference difficult to handle but once we able to handle that stuart warren you will going to enjoy the chemistry a lot he will provide you different flavors that won't provide you till death death that is stuart warren okay aromatic electrophilic uh, aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction both this reaction they are opposite to each other in their attack in their approach okay you might see this topic in your nsc syllabus phase transfer catalyst ptc molecular rearrangement now this topic is fast net csir syllabus will only ask you about the molecular rearrangement but they have never mentioned the what molecular rearrangement it is your study ki once you enter into the preparation you are getting this rearrangement one by one i have a list no doubt but it is not possible to write it down on a slide one slide means there is no name if this is present in the csr syllabus this is not present in the syllabus no that's not the case whenever you are going to prepare for the examination you to need to collect this rearrangement one by one yes i got pinacol pinacol i got hopman rearrangement i got cortius rearrangement okay i got so and so rearrangement make them possible write it down on your paper that is the molecular theory free radical reactions everybody is well known about the free radical reaction photochemistry one of the simple and lovable topic for the preparation you will get 100% marks if the question will be on a photochemistry it is cyclic reaction two two equations for the periodic and that are easy to have that is easy to solve oxidation reduction again there is a no reagent or the reaction mentioned in the oxidation the oxidation and reduction it is your duty identify the reagent and the reagent for the reaction they will ask a question only not more than that 
I mean, these are the topic. These are the general labeling, general title. Phosphorus and sulfur light. Chemistry Part Two, Semester Third. As far as EGBU concern, I am not sure about the other universities. Ampoling and enamine. Hundred percent, you will get the question on sulfur, phosphorus, enamine, and ampol. Okay, but these topics are already in your syllabus. So why should I think for different? That's why during the MSc, you need to work hard. You need to work smart on these topics. So that once you prepare for the examinations, it will be easy for you. Organometallic and organotransition reagent, Grignard reagent, organolithium. Okay, copper that is R two C U L I called as a Gilman reagent. There are a lot of reagent. Okay, organotin, organoborane, lot of reagent, lot of. Especially in the organotransition, there is organopalladium PD. PD containing reagent, take reaction, Sonogoshira coupling, Suzuki coupling, lot of reaction. And nowadays they are more focused on this organo transition part. That is the organo transition reagent. More focus. If you don't believe, go through the net CSR website, download the paper. You can identify the palladium containing most of the reaction. And it is. Already present in the Stuart Warren. Even you can also identify the type of question and type of answer in the Stuart Warren. Okay, protection and deprotection of functional group. Most of the time in net in portion third, that is part C. Protection and deprotection will provide you some signals to solve the problem. Okay, heterocyclic chemistry. Limited topics only. We don't want that giant study of heterocyclic chemistry. Limited topics: pyrrole, furan, pyridine, thiazine. Limited topics. Reactive intermediate: acetone, rubidine, carbanion, free radical, maybe maybe is all intermediate. Surely you will be sure. Okay, and that are not that much difficult. Special reagent in organic synthesis. Of course, special reagent in organic synthesis, it is not possible to mention the list. Name reaction in organic chemistry, it is not possible to mention limited lists. Okay, we need to collect it during our study. It would happen. Okay, Hoffman rearrangement. Write it down on your paper. Okay. And last is the IUPAC nomenclature of organic compound. If there may be a site for two marks, sometimes four marks, they will ask you for the IUPAC. But this IUPAC cover all organic, then coordination, then your EZ nomenclature also, bicyclic compound nomenclature also, all types of nomenclature. It is a free marks, <clears throat> free. Because at the age of MSc, you are able, you are able to identify the IUPC very easily. Okay, so this is about the organic chemistry. I again repeat my statement: these are the hot topics where you should look forward. Those who are in the MSc Part One, Semester One, mention the note down the topic and follow the direction. Once you get the topic in MSc. Take more efforts. Okay. About the spectroscopy. Again, this word is not familiar with the part one student. PMR spectroscopy called as the H one NMR proton magnetic resonance spectroscopy. CMR C thirteen infrared called as the IR mass spectrometry. It is not a spectroscopy. It is a spectrometric electron spin spectroscopy called the ESR, Masova spectroscopy, one of the good spectroscopy. Masova ultraviolet that is the UV and combined spectral object. Now let me clear this point. He basically in nature there might be a separation on this spectroscopy. 
or there might be a combined questions on the spectroscopy. They will provide you a NMR data, IR data, mass data. It is called a combined problem, combined spectrum. Okay. To solve this problem, PMR you need to deal with the CMR, infra, mass, electron, mass, ultraviolet. Because it is not limited to them to combine the data. So PMR is PMR is infrared combined, PMR is mass combined. You have to do ROB spectroscopy. If you have a combined spectrum problem, mostly they will ask for the four marks. Okay. So, combined spectral problem. UV spectroscopy, mass of our spectroscopy, ESR, mass, infra, CMR, EMR. This will note the low. Note it down because these are the portion from your MSC syllabus. So once you're going to study this in portion in your class, keep it in your mind that same topic will be also in a competitive examination. Okay. Next. I think someone is annoting. Clear all. <clears throat> okay. Now the last, that is the natural product. Okay. Huh. There are some topics from your MSc as far as the uh, MSc part two, that is our specialization concern. There are two papers, organic synthesis and organic synthesis second, called as a natural product, as per as the NGBU concern. There are some topics that are included at the MSc level, like carbohydrates, steroid and hormone, alkaloid and terpenoid, antibiotic, antimalarial, antipyretic, analgesic, anti-inflammatory, that is the drugs, polymer and dyes. You don't need to do different. You just want to think different. Aapko karna kuch nahi, aapko khali sochna hai, alag se. What? Ki once I, I am going to study this topic in my classroom, then I have to take care of this topic because this topic will also in a part of competitive examination, like NAND, SEP, and GET. Okay. What will be the change? The change that you are going to study this topic in a relaxed mind. No tension. No time bonding, no deadline, nothing, nothing, no peer pressure. Because you are in MSc, you have time. But once you cross the MSc and you special time for the preparation, at that time you have pressure of time. At that time uh, you might have some economical crisis. So at that time your brain efficiency will be lowered down slightly. But during MSc you are free, relax mind. So make this possible during your MSc period. Write it down on your paper, whatever you think, whatever you learn. Okay, so these are the some topics that I have mentioned. If you complete this topic throughout the MSc, that during your two session, two semester or one year, it will be better for. Don't give special attention to this topic. It is not necessary. This is the gift. This is the gift. If you get a question, depend on carbohydrate or this mentioned topic it is a gift for you and it is really rare to get a gift in a net set or get nobody is ready to give you a gift they will always demand for the concept okay so these are the some topics now as far as the inorganic chemistry concept there are some topics which are continuously a part of that question that question papers like a periodicity of elements, complete elements, their atomic, ionic, radii, ionization potential, okay, their melting point, boiling point, wonderful force of attraction, their state, their oxidation state, electronegativity, electropositive character, electronegative character, so on. Okay, mostly B portion, part B of net. 
will concentrate toward the periodicity. VSCPR or hybridization, that the shape and geometry of the molecule, you can easily cover this topic. Molecular orbital theory called as the MOT. Number of time there will be a question on our MOT. Silicons, coordination chemistry. Okay, theories of coordination chemistry. This topic you will get even your MSc part. Reaction mechanism of coordination compound, associative, dissociative. Okay, electronic spectra like a tone symbol, organ diagram. Transition, binary chemistry like a hemoglobin. Okay. So, metal carbonic, that is the carbon bonded with oxygen. Okay. Symmetry and group theory, special topic, special question. You will come to uh, you will come to know that there will be a question on the symmetry. Always group theory. Acelas, Ogawa. Industrial application of inorganic chemistry, like Wacker process, Ziegler data catalyst. Okay, how to prepare, what are the combination, which are the catalyst. Inorganic spectroscopy, mostly IR, mostly IR, Masoba, and followed by LNG. Of course, that is concerned with the inorganic study. Okay, so these are some topics from the inorganic chemistry. Now the point is come, the topic that I have mentioned, obviously they are present somewhere in the books. Okay, we have a lot of references, lot of books in your library. But again, we have to choose or select a particular references that will provide you a perfect guideline that will help to study, that will help to prepare the topic for your examination okay no doubt uh, presently i am going to focus on organic chemistry inorganic chemistry okay uh, i am not as i have said i am not very much comfortable with the physical chemistry okay advanced organic chemistry by jerry march this is the standard reference and it is a literature based if you study a single reaction from the jerry march Jerry Marsh will provide you uh, ample information about the reaction in all aspects. Their literature, their content, their re reaction, their mechanism, their applications. Standard reference. A guidebook to mechanism in organic chemistry by Peter Kais or Peter Sykes. One of the standard reference for the reaction. If you have doubts about the arrows, about the charges, about the bond making, about the bond making, uh, breaking, about the transfer of species, electron or electrophile or nucleophile, you can have this. It will clear all your doubts. Then stereochemistry by P. S. Kelsey, one of the beautiful reference. Even I have read that reference throughout. Standard. If you go through the stereochemistry reference, you will never have doubts in your mind. But make sure whenever you are going to deal with the stereochemistry, keep the ball and stick model ready. Don't go without ball and stick model. Okay, it will give you a good experience or good learning ability. Organic chemistry by Morris and Boyd. If you have some doubts in the functional chemistry, who reacts with whom and provide what? You don't have that sufficient knowledge about the functional chemistry. Go for this basic reference. Though it is a foreign reference, but it's a basic reference. Organic chemistry by Clayton, Jonathan Greaves, and Warren that I have already stated. Warren, Stuart Warren, or sometimes it may be called as a Clayton. As per the region concern, sometimes it may be called as a Greaves, and as far as my region is concerned, we refer it as a Warren, organic chemistry by Warren. It is the boss of our chemistry. He, the level that you get from this Stuart Warren is totally different. It is a color print acid resistance copy. That is the Stuart Warren. Go for it. 
if you want to test go for the elimination reaction in warit elimination reaction select a topic go through the warit you came to know what is the beauty and what is the level of the warit principle of organic synthesis by roc norman and jm paulson one of the simplest book for the organic synthesis because the mn part organic chemistry convert into organic roc norman paulson one of the simple is to understand cover all organic synthesis this is one of the wonderful results for getting a number of reagent number of special reagent oxidation reduction in this one reference okay. organic synthesis by if you want to start if you want to make chemistry more difficult Go through the M.P. Smith. I never suggest for students because it's quite difficult reference. It is a research based. Okay, it is basically good for the teacher to refer to cross check. Okay, but if you wish, it is my duty to hide the. Reference. It is your decision whether to go or M.P. Smith, Michael B. Smith, best known as the M.P. Smith. Okay, name reaction and reagent in organic synthesis by P. Mundi, Michael G. Ellard, and F. G. Favalero Jr. These uh, books is specially known for the name Mundi. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing is required to explain. Where all name reactions, all name reaction, they are incorporated in this one book with all aspect. And this book is specially for the competitive examinations. because lot of example lot of uh, variety in the example which is required for our net or sec and the last you might have some surprising attitude the abc of chemistry by s p zoki that i have referred in my msc life though it is a cbsc reference but this reference will help to prepare for the examination this will help to make a foundation of the student because it is not necessary every student will study or will learn the concept in the same way because every child is a special child or unique child because in a class i have to take care of every student though some are brilliant some are average and some are weak in the subject so this is this books will provide you a foundation based on Okay. Next, very limited references for the inorganic chemistry. That is water. Very limited references. That is inorganic chemistry. My Gary A. Mays and Donald Eta. As per well my experience, Sansan, this reference is sufficient for the inorganic chemistry. Okay, go for the. ियनिक स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपीट्रोस्कोपीट्रोस्कोपीट्रोस्कोपीट्रोस्कोपीट्रोस्कोपीट्रोस्कोपीट्रोस्कोपीट्रोस्कोपीट्र
चलो नीलेश सर नाउ इज इट ओके ओके सर so as far as this spectroscopy is concerned lampman pavia and this is the best okay you will get all types of spectroscopy pmr cmr mas spectrometry ir uv okay organic spectroscopy by william kep you can refer this spectroscopy especially for the cmr and their problems fundamental of molecular spectroscopy by cn banvel मॉलिकुलर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी लाइक रमन यू कैन हैव इट वाइब्रेशनल दैट इज माइक्रोवेव यू कैन हैव इट एलिमेंटरी ऑर्गेनिक स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी बाय वायर शर्मा बट लेट मी क्लियर वन थिंग कि दिस वायर शर्मा आई हैव रेफर्ड ओनली फॉर द प्रॉब्लम्स स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी प्रॉब्लम नॉट फॉर द थ्योरी एस्पेक्ट आई हैव रेफर्ड लैम्पमन पाविएंटिस विलियम किम एंड सीएन बर्ग okay so it is not necessary to go through the wire sharma for the theoretical aspect go for the problem just look out for the exercise okay next now now why i am uh, why i have uh, provide you uh, that uh, suggestion that uh, not necessary to cover all the syllabus because this is the general cut off that i have taken it from the csir ki cut off stand for what minimum range from here you can qualify it for the net and jrf ki this is the jrf called as a junior research fellowship and this is the simple called as a lecturership or assistant professor plain net if you observe for jrf the cut off was 50.500 Where for the LS it is it was forty five point four five means there is a difference. Now fifty means out of two hundred hundred or one zero one or one zero two marks out of two hundred one zero zero or one zero one marks means already CSR has given you a bit of it not necessary you have to study all the syllabus. if you keep any one of the paper just i have put it physical chemistry it is okay it is okay because you can skip the question okay you can skip the question if you observe for the rest of the category it is again there is a, a different challenge ls okay now look out this result or cut off it is now 57.75 okay it is over 100 sometime it may happens ki suppose the net paper is on a slightly easier mode it may happen ki cut off may ranges above 100 or ls it was 51 near 52 means 104 marks of 100 Okay. Means it is not necessary to select and attempt all questions. Not necessary. Okay. If you are decision, if you are sure or not, this is the, just for your introduction. It is not necessary to take all the questions. Cut off is fifty percent. Already cut off is fifty percent. Okay. Now <clears throat> this uh, animation that I have selected uh, and. If you are aware about the aviation, that is the flight aviation. Second is the boxing. We will go one by one. That basically, when the flight is prepared for the takeoff, okay, then pilot need to check all the parameters. Number one, engine start. Number two, speed. Number three, ground clearance. Number four, that is the clearance from ATS. All parameters. All parameters. okay it will never happen if pilot is not sure about the status and he will decide to go take off because take off is under the pilot control landing is not under the pilot if something this happen but during the take off pilot will take care of everything to go for the take off 
all parameters. Okay. Second, that is that boxer is try to hit. The boxer is try to punch. But if you observe the movement of that boxer, it is very selective. He, his object is to hit the front person. Okay. He is very much selective and waiting for the attack. He is not continuously hitting the that object. He is waiting for the proper position. Okay. This is a hidden advice for yourself from my side. Ki don't go for hit and trial. Yes, sir, I think this is the correct option. Go for it. No, it will be a wrong approach. Ki sir, my uh, overall experience told me that I should go for this option. No, never. Unless from your side you are damn sure, you know, this is the correct answer, then and then only you need to attend the question as far as the net concern because there is a negative one. As far as the shape, again, though it is no negative, but still you need to be very careful while attempting the question. Because what happened? Because of negative marking, you are going to your correct marks or your. Uh, the mass which, which you are getting by the correct answer, it is deducted from this account one by one, one by one. Okay, percentage stands for out of four mark will be deducted from your main account, and because of that, because of this negative marking, the percentage ratio or percent of net qualification is less. Because out of ten question, if five are correct, five are incorrect. You will get 20 marks and at the same time you will lose your five marks. So it is not necessary if you if you are not sure, leave the question. Just the pilot will do. If he is not sure about his uh, that uh, flight, he will terminate the takeoff. He won't take a risk. Similarly, if the boxer is not ready, if the boxer is not sure, he won't waste his attempt. He will wait for the a opportunity. He will wait for the perfect combination. He will wait for the correct punching. Okay. So this is my advice. We don't take it lightly. If you are not sure, don't attempt. If you are damn sure, go for the questions. Okay. Next. Now these are some questions that I have uh, take it for this uh, discussion. He basically, this is the question from Next part A. If for part A, I'm not going to solve this question. I'm just reading the question. You have to just look out the question. Ki question number two, the student received the following marks in the five of the six courses, 91, 86, 81, 79, and 92. Six question, uh, six course, but the data is given of five course. And the average of his marks in the sixth subject is 85. Total average is 85. How many marks did he receive in the sixth subject? Jo missing hai, usse aapko calculate karna. Part A mein karna kuch nahi hai. You should read this question in a peaceful mind. Shanti se pehle usko padho. Read it carefully. And then try to work. If you are not sure, read it. But this is the simple question based upon the average. Number of entries divided by six is equal to, okay. One digit is missing, so you can easily calculate. Okay, I'm not going to calculate because this is not my objective right now. I'm just explaining. Parity consists of such type of questions. Here, here there is no relation of chemistry or your subject. No chemistry knowledge is required. Question number ten: Which of the following figure can be drawn without lifting the pen from the paper or retract the uh, retracing? Now, does it is necessary to have a chemist knowledge? Of course not. That is called reasoning. That is called analysis. This is called a general aptic. Okay. So it is your option whether you take a risk in the party or not. If you are not sure, leave it. If you are sure, go for it. Similar to that, this is the question from part B, net part B. 
Okay. I'm just going to discuss the question based upon the topic. If the major product form in the following reaction is of the R. This is basically the question based upon the arine mechanism or benzene, uh, benzene mechanism. Okay. This arine or benzene mechanism are under the aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. Aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. If you have the knowledge of that aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction, like ARSN1, ARSN2, and this arine or benzene mechanism, it is the simplest question. Hardly it will take 15 seconds to answer. Okay. I know the answer. I know the answer from the one, two, three, four. But that is not my object. What is my motive? He, you need to analyze this question. Ki how next CSR is going to ask you a question? Simple pattern, simple way. Okay. Now observe this question number 38. Here, this is the question based upon the conformational analysis of cyclohexane. Again, this is given in the PS Kelsey, given in the Stuart Warren, given in the Robert Hoffman. References I am talking about. But whatever the reference, you need to cross check your concept first. Okay, am I able to solve this problem? Yes. Then what will be the answer? That answer should be damn sure. The correct answer is to fluid because of the 1 3 diaxial interaction. Again, I am not, not going to solve this problem. I am just providing the views in the questions or the topic that we have already studied in your MSc. The question is the same in the CSI. Okay. Next and the most hunting. This one. Question number 87 is for 4 marks. Previous is for 2 marks. To part B. This is the question from part C that I have selected. Here, they have given you a H1 NMR data. They have given you a mass data. This example is based upon combined profit, combined spectral problem. But again, this is not difficult to solve. Here, the one figure will show you this is a amide or amine, and that is the word exchangeable, exchangeable. Jinka hua hai, that person will feel some comfortness. Jinko pata nahi hai, those who don't know the NMR, okay, so they might feel some difficulty during the explanation. In this broad siglet at two hydro of two hydrogen, exchangeable with D2O, it's clearly indicate it is NH2. And the pattern that is shown here, that is 7.9 doublet and 6.6 .6 doublet, they are coupled with each other. They are clearly indicated it is para unsymmetrically disubstituted a compound. And the option is this one. Okay, because this is an amide. This is not an amide. This is ortho. This is meta substitute. Means, <coughs> excuse me. What I mean to explain, I am explaining the word. You are getting an example on the basis of NMR and mass. NMR and IR, mass and IR. But the question is simple. It carries four marks. And you need to solve only 25 questions out of 60. If you got such a questions in your paper, ultimately you are going to crack the exam. Observe next question, question number 97. It is of four marks. Okay, and question is very much simple. Keep the correct order of rates for the following reaction is. Now, first to say and second to say they are the different set of reactions. The first is again a arine mechanism or benzene mechanism, and second is a type of aromatic nucleophilic substitution reaction called the ARSN2. The question is said, we need to compare the rate of reaction. Again, I can give you an idea. As far as the arine or benzene, it is the nature of living group that comes. As far as the air SN2, it is the activity of the group that comes. That's it. Okay. 
the questions are based on the two concepts. One is the oil or benzene mechanism, and second is the R sent to both are the part of aerobic reaction. Okay. Now, this is a uh, uh, experience that I have throughout my student life as well as in a this teaching life. Okay, this is the ABC of chemistry. This is by S. C. Zohar. Okay, this is the CBSC pattern. This is CBSC pattern. Okay. Uh, Zado, sir, my voice is clear. Uh, little bit breaking, sir. Your voice is little bit breaking. Little bit breaking. Sharika, sir, please check your connection. Is it okay? Zado, sir, today I am getting too much turbulence in the connectivity. This turbulence yeah, yeah. was never. It's, it's okay, I don't sir. know. Uh -huh. Because online teaching, we need a connectivity. I hope participants also. Also, uh, you can uh, understand my problem regarding the connectivity because I can't do anything for that. Okay. So, basically, this ABC of chemistry is a general reference, general CBSC based book. But now, if you are in the MS part one, semester one, semester two, make the target. At least you can read this book throughout your MSc. Once you are in MSc part one, semester one, read this reference because this reference will provide you a foundation, basic foundation. Luckily or by unluckily, if you left some basic concept of chemistry in your trans life, in your BSc life, this reference will help. This reference will help to record that knowledge. It is my experience, personal experience. I had gone through this reference in my MSc life, luckily, where this reference has provided me a lot of basic foundation for my further preparation. Okay, I have mentioned the topic of some uh, inorganic, some physical, followed by some organic. Okay, it is your choice. I am not. Com uh, I can't make a compulsion to go through this reference. This is my experience that I think I should share. Okay, like a solid state, solution, chemical thermodynamics, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, P block, F block, nuclear, and all organic. Okay, so it is your choice, but what is my requirement? If you wish to read this book, start from your first semester. Now, if you are in a third semester, don't worry, just start, just start it, okay? you will get a good experience. You will get the good understanding of a subject. Okay. Next. Now, you ask the third portion. Uh, that, sir, is it okay to continue with the same thing? Or any time bounding from your side? No, 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 sir. You, you can compute your portion. Okay. Hardly it will limit, don't worry. Because already I think we have one and half hour completed the session. Now, <coughs> get third portion. Look, I have explained that in a proper way that will be applicable to the status because they are really a parallel syllabus. Okay, now get this gate stands for graduate aptitude test in engineering, and nowadays this gate is the our gate will provide you a lot of opportunities to work in the private sector, to work in the semi-government, to work in the government, or even to work in the PSUs called as the public sector undertaking. Okay, but of course, gate is again one of the topmost exams. <coughs> Syllabus is again similar, but for the gate preparation, you need to focus more on the physical chemistry aspect. Okay. <coughs> Again, the mode is the computer based test, no age limit. How to apply through online? 
validity of gate score is again three years. If you qualify the examination with the appropriate score, your score will be valid for three years from the date of declaration of result. Duration is three hours. Don't worry about the duration. Okay. If you are fully prepared, <coughs> section again, net has three parts. Set has two. Gate also has a two part. The general aptitude and second is the concern subject that you are opted or that we opted for the examination. Types of question, <coughs> there are three types. Q1 is a multiple choice question, out of four will be correct. Second is a multiple select question. If out of that four, it may happen if more than one statement or more than one option will be correct. And numerical answer type called as a net, N-A-T. You need to calculate something and write down the figure or the that number in the given box. Total marks hundreds and the subject code is CY chemistry. Okay. Next. Is similar to the net JRF. We know where it gets go. You can work on this uh, in these institutes like IITs, CSIR labs, ISER, NCL, and IIS. It is decided by again your choice. Okay. Here come my part of interest. Once you have a valid score, okay, once you have a valid score of GET, there are a PSUs like ONGC where I had a experience of eight years to become a ONGC. DAE, Department of Atomic Energy. IOCL, Indian Oil Corporation Limited. HPCL, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. DRDO, Defense Research Development Organization. BARC, Baba Atomic Research Center. MECL, Mineral Exploration Corporation Limited. These are the POCUs or some government organization who are waiting for your gates. And nowadays, this is the biggest opportunity. You, once you have a valid gate score, you can enter into this organization. And once you have a valid gate score, they won't have any examination letter. They directly take your interviews and go for the selection at the class one level. In PSU language, it is called E1 level. E1, executive one. That is the class one. Okay, so I am going to highlight one by one. Don't worry. Okay, this is the ONGC called as the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Limited, where I had an experience of eight years to work in the Arabian Sea as well as the Bay of Bengal. Okay, this ONGC is basically known for the what crude oil and natural gas exploration and their distribution to the various refineries. Maharatna Company. Career opportunity on the basis of gate score in chemical science or in chemistry, the chemist. Again, mode of selection is interview. Maximum weightage will be to the gate score and minimum for the pay scale is, pay scale is 60,000 to 1,80,000 RS. This is pay scale. And roughly you are going to get a salary of 1,80,000 Okay, so this is called as the application of gates in PSD, public sector. Okay. Next. Next is IOCL, Indian Oil Corporation Limited. You might see this logo on petrol pump. IOCL. Basically, this IOCL is the crude oil refineries. Okay, where whatever the crude oil explored by the ONC will be directed towards the IOCL and that IOCL will do the refineries. Again, post is chemist training on the basis of what that gate score. 
mode of selection is again interview ki they will ask for the process you need to apply via online and you need to apply via via online they will provide you a sheet appear for the interview if you selected you will be selected as a chemistry again <coughs> that pay scale is 50000 to 1 lakh 60000 Next is the MECL that is Mineral Exploration Corporation Limited (MECL). Again, <coughs> this is a mineral company. Exploration of coal, lignite, bauxite, gold, lead, iron, and manganese. Mode of selection interview. Okay, in the pay scale is forty thousand five hundred. this is a department of atomic energy and in the recent some days back there was a ad of dae they will they had demand a bsc with pcm group and if you are msc it's okay okay this department of atomic energy also recruit on the basis of gate score on the post scientific officer c pay scale is 56100 is roughly it will cross the 1 lakh 10000 salary in hand that is gross salary okay it is basically the atomic mineral exploration bark that is baba and is will about the bark this bark will also recruit on so yes Get school followed by interview, but make sure it is Mark will conduct the interview in a toughest way. Again, the pay scale is similar to fifty six thousand one double zero and one lakh eighty thousand. This is basic pay scale plus some uh, allowances. Yes, I. You will get the salary nearly one lakh ten thousand. Okay, this is again the government of India enterprises. you need to note down this name if you are preparing for the examination okay because they will ask for the candidate or they will ask for the opportunities you need to apply you need to appear for the same drdo <clears throat> that is a defense research development organization again ask for the scientific officer b okay there are some psus they will conduct their own examinations and there are some psus which ask or which uh, demand for the gate score okay so it is not necessary ki drdo will ask for the application on the basis of gate score only they will have their own process on the process okay similar to the bark there is recently one ad is there baba atomic research center for scientific officer b scientific officer b on the basis of their online process their examination as well as gate score you can opt it for gate score or for online examination process okay so there are ndpc national thermal power corporation forensic science okay these are also the psu or the government organization who will ask for the msc but the main the uh, organization that i have mentioned they are specially asking for the what gate score okay because chemistry has a vast application and vast that is productivity you can get a job but again that job required or that uh, uh, what we call opportunity required a hard work you need to hard work or you need to work a lot on your topic on your uh, what you call a syllabus portion to crack these examinations okay so this is about the net set and gate preparation where i have focused much on net set and gate on gate i have i am trying to explain my application it means that is the organization psus where they are waiting for your gate score okay so this is all about from my side i think it is uh, more than one and half hour that is allotted time i have taken my extra time 15 minutes
uh, to cover this uh, presentation because these topics are too much vast. But still, I have tried my best to cover these topics and put in front of you. I am very much thankful for your patience hearing from my side. And uh, once again, I am very much thankful from the organizing committee to uh, invite me for such a talk. So thank you very much. And uh, it's over to you, Zadho, sir. Uh, Rina, madam. Hello. Dr. Rina, yes, madam. Ha, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir, for such a wonderful elaborative and the basic knowledge you have shared with us. I hope that all the students get benefited by your knowledge. And this is the, the way or this is the things which we need when we are in the MSc uh, or which uh, or we want to pursue or we want to crack the examinations like NETSIT and GET. So thank you so much, sir. I thought that this uh, or I am sure that this presentation and your uh, explanation will help the students in their future and they will be benefited by your knowledge. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Or dear students that I want to say something to you that Padode sir, Dr. Padode sir provide you the roadmap or blueprint of NETSET and GET. You just have to follow the pathway and reach the destination. So be ready and put your pedal, put your foot on the pedal and reach to the destination. Thank you so much, sir. And one, one more thing I want to say that everything is theoretical impossible unless it is done. So think over it. The best and beautiful thing in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt by heart. Thank you is one such thing among them. And now I want to invite <clears throat> Dr. Kailas More, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Nabira Mahavidyalaya Katol, to propose the vote of thanks. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, ma'am. I am audible. Yes, sir, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, one and all. I would like to thank uh, Honorable uh, Dr. Raju Deshmukh, sir, President of uh, Section Prasarak Mandal. He always has been a source of inspiration for us. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Nilesh Padole, sir, from bottom of my heart for giving his valuable time and delivering a such wonderful motivational lecture on preparation of net set gate examination in chemical science truly sir all participants surely got idea about the preparation of net set gate examinations in chemical science i would also like to thank our respected principal navin sir for his introductory remark and moral support I would like to thank Dr. Borkar sir, Dr. VG Barsagde sir, Dr. Gandhare sir, Dr. Meshram ma'am, Mr. Jadhav sir, Dr. Dhadade sir, Dr. Dr. Adil sir, all teaching and non-teaching staff. Lastly, I would like to thank all the participants for participating and listening carefully with Jesh and Jil. With the permission of organizing committee, I would like to thank. I I would to I would like to conclude here that today's session is over. We will meet tomorrow with our new guest speaker. Take care. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, sir. Madam. Thank you, madam. Hello. Ah, sir. Ah, sir. Ah, sir. Bolie. Ji. अगर किसी को कोई क्वेश्चन आंसर करना है, क्वेश्चन करना है तो चैट बॉक्स में. हाँ. If anybody have, yeah, yeah. If anybody have any question, they can drop the question in the chat box. So, sir will answer the questions uh, one by one. If anybody have question, please uh, drop in the chat box, please. I don't think so, sir, uh, madam. <clears throat> Yes, sir. Uh, I don't because think I that anybody picture. have any question. Yeah. Uh, yes. And you uh, uh, explain it very well. So I don't think that anybody have any question because you told them uh, about the books, about the topics, 
how the questions will appear in the examination and all the basic things which actually we need during our msc time and during uh, when we thought on or, or we get the th thought in our mind that we should crack these examinations and you very well explain the benefits of this ex uh, examinations to the student thank you so much sir and i hope that all you do very well in your future and we uh, stop here and good day to one and all thank you so much thank you thank you madam thank you all thank you, organizing member respected principal sir special thank you dr really uh, nice, dilip jadhav sir really nice thank session, you sir. sir thank you sir Nice thank session. You. Okay. Sir, uh, <clears throat> sir, somebody yes. said that if you can provide the PDF of your presentation, uh, so we can. If you give your presentation to the Jadhav sir, then we will provide to the participants. One of the participants yes, told about it. Sure, sure. Ask about it. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Sure. Okay. Yes. Thank you, madam. So shall I leave, madam? Yes, 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 sir. 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 Yes